So your heart's pounding, you're getting anxious and your nerves are all tensed up. So how do you overcome your worst fears? That's what's coming up. Hi everyone, I'm Zach D'Souza and thank you for checking out my channel. Now, here's a situation we all face. We all at some point have had to confront fear. Probably a situation where you need to make this public presentation or if you're an athlete, it's the tension before a big game or a big race. Now, when you're afraid, your pulse races, your heart pounds, you may find it hard to breathe at times and in extreme cases, fear can also cause you to pass out. Now, fear is a human emotion that is triggered by a perceived threat. It's when fear is not managed and controlled, it can negatively impact our thinking and our decision-making process. It can cause intense emotions, impulsive reactions, as well as panic attacks. For you to be successful in business, sports, as well as when major critical decisions have to be taken, we have to learn to manage and regulate fear. So, how can I effectively control, manage, as well as overcome fear? Well, one of the ways to deal with fear is through box breathing. Now, box breathing is a technique used by the US Navy SEALs. They use this technique to calm their nerves and stay focused and stable when they are all tensed up before a gunfire or a battle. Practicing box breathing is quite simple. All you need to do is just relax and find a place where you can sit yourself down. Now, take a deep breath in or inhale for four seconds. Hold the air in your lungs for the next 4 seconds. Now exhale for 4 seconds, emoting all the air inside and then just hold your breath calmly for the next 4 seconds. All you need to do is just repeat this cycle a couple of times. Doing this is going to give you almost an immediate sense of calmness as well as relax your mind. Now box breathing helps in reducing stress and anxiety as well as it can reduce blood pressure. Apart from that, it helps in increasing your focus and concentration. The next thing that you need to do to manage fear is by talking to yourself. Now that your nerves are all calmed and focused, you got to know how to talk to yourself. So go ahead and talk to your inner self. Talk to your mind, your will, your emotions. Talk to yourself about your accomplishments, your victories and pep yourself up. This helps in building up your confidence before that big game or that race or the exam or the presentation or whatever it is that you were afraid to face. I've always been a big fan of this guy Muhammad Ali. He would always talk to himself as well as everyone around him. He kept saying, I am the greatest. I'm young, handsome, fast and I can't possibly be beat. One of my favorite lines of his war, if you ever dream of beating me, you better get up and apologize. Now the final step in you managing your fear is to just go ahead and do it. In other words, do it afraid. Finally, go ahead and do whatever it is that you have to do. Take that plunge, run that race, make that presentation and like Nike says it, just do it. In fact, keep putting yourself in that situation that you are afraid of. If you're afraid of making a presentation or talking in front of a camera, Keep doing it till you destroy that fear completely. You'll soon realize that what's going to take over that fear is adrenaline, endorphins, those feel-good hormones that keep you motivated, excited and driven. So go ahead and face your fears. Also go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure that you don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get a notification whenever I release a new video. And please do like, comment as well as share this video so that we together can make a difference.